Okay, so the next one I have, I believe is called Seismic. I don't know why, why do makeup names have to be so complicated, honestly. You don't want to go like balls out. Uh, try this. channel. Today we are going to be talking all about the new Urban Decay Vice Full Frontal Reloaded Lipstick Stash. I saw this on the Sephora website. Like, I think I saw it first on Boxing Day. I had some Sephora gift cards burning a hole in my pocket. So I went ahead and splurged. I just thought this would be a great way to try out some of the newly formulated Vice lipsticks. And spoiler alert, I really like it. So I'm going to take you guys through all the shades, tell you about the different formulas, and just kind of give you my overall thoughts. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, I will say this was a pricier item. Canadian, this was $75. Um, I'll put the American price below. That being said, you are getting five full-size um, Urban Decay Vice lipsticks, which retail for $20. I'll put the American and Canadian price below a piece. So you're definitely getting a bit of a deal here. You're also getting the Ultimate Ozone Multi-Purpose Primer. So, I mean, you are getting a lot of bang for your buck here. Let's talk about the packaging. So the packaging is really beautiful. It comes with this exterior sort of sleeve. And then the box itself is so beautiful. I think this is a beautiful collector's item. Uh, I think it's going to look really pretty on my vanity or maybe I will stick it back there on my um, Ikea Leotorp. But the packaging is gorgeous so it comes in this really nice luxe looking box. I love the gold metallic lettering detail and, and then just like the image on the front is gorgeous. So it's got like a magnetic sort of flippy lid thing and you open it up and then inside you've got that same um, sort of image and then you've got your five lipsticks and the primer and I don't know this packaging is just like I said very luxurious it looks very high-end I feel like you're getting what you pay for here and the lipsticks themselves um, are stunning they're in this like kind of gunmetal and gold packaging I just think they're beautiful so I think I have two major thumbs up for the packaging I like major major A plus so if you guys have seen the Vice displays in Sephora, you know there are like literally a hundred shades to choose from. That's not an exaggeration. And I believe there are six different finishes. So in this set, you get five different finishes, which I think is really nice. It's a nice way to kind of test the different formulations because they definitely vary. So let me just go ahead and take you through all five of these shades. I'm also going to put them on my lips and show you how they look. So let's start with the one I have on right now. Of course I went for the red. I just, I am such a lover of red lipstick and I don't I don't know I feel like every year that passes I just love red lipstick more and more I just think it's such a classic color and it just oh I love it so the color that I have on right now is called gash and it is a cream formula it is beautiful I love 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 the cream formulation it might just be my favorite in the whole um, pack here I have been wearing this for a little while now. I've been getting ready. I've been kind of running around doing stuff for my kids. Um, it's definitely not transfer proof. It doesn't like, you know, set or anything. It's got, you know, if you give someone a kiss, you're going to leave a lipstick mark with this one. And it took very little to get like a nice opaque layer on my lips. So absolutely no complaints. I, I'm, yeah, this is definitely my favorite. I don't know why I'm trying to convince myself it's not probably because I always go for reds, but um, I would say this is my favorite formula and also just color in the stash. All right, so the next one I have, I believe is called Seismic. I don't know why, why do makeup names have to be so complicated, honestly. This is a shimmer sheer formula and I think that is the perfect description for this formulation. The color payoff is a little bit sheerer and obviously it does have a slight shimmer. I really like the shine of this one. It has like a very high sort of glossy finish. I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick up on camera, but it's pretty. I like the color. It's kind of got this purplish hue um, without being like over the top. It's a very subtle, more like a berry tone actually, but I really like it. I think it would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones and it's like a nice way to try a bold because it's somewhat sheer. So if you're wanting to try like a deeper, kind of vampier color, but you don't want to go like balls out, uh, try this. I think it's really nice. Formulation of all of these is so comfortable. I should have said this at the very beginning, but these are infused with like a butt ton of good for your lips, nourishing ingredients. Let me read it to you. So all of these formulations are referred to as a butter blend, which just sounds nice. Okay, so they also are infused with aloe vera, jojoba, 
avocado and babassu oil, um, and they've got an illipi, I believe is how you say it, butter derived from Malaysian illipi trees that provides long lasting moisture and it's also infused with vitamin C and E and a hint of antioxidants. I have to say, like a lot of lipsticks have like all those. Oh, we pack this full of everything. I don't, I don't feel a difference. I truly feel a difference with these. They feel so hydrating and I am like the queen of dry lips. So that's huge for me. These are so comfortable. I, I feel like these are a very luxurious sort of lipstick formulation and I dig it. Okay, so the next one I have on is called a Snitch, and it is a sheer formula, no shimmer. Um, in the tube, it looked kind of scary. I was like, that looks like a very bright coral, but it is quite sheer and I think quite wearable. This is gonna be a beautiful spring and summer shade. Very pretty, and again, I think would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones. But yeah, I like this. I think it's a very wearable coral. I like coral and peachy shades in general, so this one, you know, is one I would probably reach for anyway. But I really like that it was included. Okay, so the next shade I have on is called 1993, which I think is the perfect name. It is that true, like, 90s brown sort of shade. Um, very on trend, very, like, Kylie Jenner-esque. Um, but I love the formulation of this, which I was really surprised about because... I don't generally like mattes. Like I said, my lips are dry. I think they're so beautiful on other people. But this comfort matte formula, I I have a hard time actually agreeing that it is matte. It still has a little bit of a shine, not nearly as much as the um, sheer formulations, but it just, it's, it, I don't feel like it's a true, true matte. It kind of looks matte from far away and even just like when I glance in the mirror, but up close, I do feel like it has just a little bit of a shine. It is very, very comfortable. If you're someone who like wants to like mattes like me, but just has a hard time making them work, this might be a really good formula for you to try because it's definitely the most comfortable um, and flattering that I have found. So I would definitely check out some other shades from this line, but I do actually really like this brown color. Okay, so last but not least is the shade Big Bang, and this is a metallicized lipstick. Honestly, I think it is gorgeous in the tube and when I swatch it on my lips, I don't know exactly how I feel about it. It is super, super glittery and it definitely has this like metallic finish. It's fun, it's pretty. I think like certain people could definitely pull it off. It is like, I mean, look at that finish. It is so pretty when you swatch it. I was showing this on Snapchat earlier and a lot of you guys were kind of like heart eyeing over it. Um, but I don't know, it's comfortable. It definitely, I don't feel any like grittiness or anything. I really can't say enough about how comfortable, I know I keep saying it, but truly these are the most comfortable lipsticks I have tried and all, all of the five different formulations are just across the board, very, very easy to wear and, and comfortable on the lips. But um, I don't know, this is pretty. I just don't know that it's like a, a good color for me, especially with this outfit and I don't, I don't know. I put this one on last because when I was watching these earlier, getting all of the glitter off my hand was, it was an issue. Like it was everywhere and I do feel like even applying this is just a little bit trickier than the other ones. There was a bit of glitter like above my lip and I was trying to like, ooh, fix it. But I don't know, it's there, it's not my favorite, but as far as like a glitter formula goes, it's, it's, you know, it's very smooth. I think it would be pretty on a lot of different people, it's just not maybe my particular cup of tea, but teach their own. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to talk about the Ultimate Ozone Multi-Purpose Primer. Apparently you can use this for several different purposes. You can just put it on your lips as a primer. You can use it to clean up outside of your lips. You can use it as a liner to prevent feathering. I'll be honest with you guys, the first time I put this on my lips, this happened and the top just fell off. Um, so I used it, but I didn't notice like any groundbreaking differences in how my lipstick applied or how it held up throughout, you know, the next few hours. I don't know. I've said this a few times. My lipstick is very like average wear, no matter what the formula. I feel like it stays on my lips for about three hours. Um, and then I need to touch it up. I never get like eight hour wear out of a lipstick. But you can resharpen this. I just do not have a pencil sharpener big enough right now. So I will. I will get one, I will use this some more, but I can't say I'm like, oh my gosh, you need this. But it is in in the um, lipstick stash, so it's a nice touch, and you know, I, it does have decent reviews. I think it's got like four out of five stars on Sephora, so there are people out there who like it. 
I just, I can take it or leave it. Overall, you guys, with this just like lipstick stash in general, I am extremely impressed. I'm super happy I picked it up. $75 is a lot of money, but I think that this is just a really nice collector's item. It's gonna look really nice back here. It's got five of the different formulations, different colors, like there are some brights, some neutrals. You've got that really pretty brown, that really bright red that I have on right now that I love. Um, I think there's something in here for everyone. If you are a lipstick lover, I think this is definitely something to look into. I'm really happy. I'm really happy I picked it up. I would definitely recommend trying it out. And I know I've said it probably 10,000 times, but the formula of all of these is just so hydrating, moisturizing, comfortable that I honestly just can't get over it. Um, Usually when I do swatch videos, my lips are like, ugh. I don't know, my lips still feel pretty good. They don't feel like they've been drugged through the beauty blogging lipstick trenches. Like, they, they feel okay. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, this new crazy mother...